Good morning. It's Sunday, April 15. Is it 15 or 16? I don't remember. <clears throat> so here's the paint that we're using on the inside of the bus. Exclusively this uh, Zinsser Bullseye. I've been using this for years on the house, the houses I've owned and everything. And I've uh, been very happy with the performance of this stuff. It dries nice and hard so you could sand it. Um, we found that the Bear Premium Plus, I think it's Home Depot that sells this one. Uh, man, it really does a great job. It flows out nice. We'll go on the bus and show you how that works. And this is the stuff we used on the inside of the drawers. It's a water-based polyurethane and uh, worked really well. It takes more coats than the oil-based like poly shades stuff. Um, like four coats is probably what you ought to use for this. We didn't go that far. I think we got like two and it's just enough to seal it up and that's all we were looking for. But uh, let me show you how all this came out. Yeah, lights. All right, so look at that finish, man. I mean, you can still see brush strokes in it, but gosh, it really, really comes out nice. All right, so these are ready for installation here, here, and here. And uh, here we go. Yeah, sorry, forgot to show you. This is the, uh, the polyurethane. Okay, I think this is two coats. And since this was gonna be the garbage, I think we put four coats here. Uh, really nice, nice looking finish. Uh, I mean, it's not like it's glass or anything. You can still feel the grain and all that, but uh, did a good job. All right, we got um, all these pieces are numbered. Um, so theoretically, all we've got to do is line these up and everything's going to fit perfectly. But I'm also going to take, oh, I got to drill these out. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know, in my previous videos, I, I explained how I did this. I... Uh, put the drawer faces in place and I had the drawer faces pre-drilled where the handle screws go and I held it in place with spacers for alignment and I just put wood screws into this through that and then I pulled the drawer open put two clamps to hold it secure because it would it would wiggle a little bit if I didn't put these four screws in and then I took these screws out. And so, all right. So after we, uh, after we final install these on here, I'm going to have to take my drill and run it through these to finish drilling these holes out. Cause I thought I had done that, but I guess I didn't. Um, that, yeah, I guess that's the plan. It's hard to keep up with it all. Okay, <laughs> uh, I just trimmed a sixteenth of an inch off of this to line up this edge. Uh, the other day I had trimmed a little bit off of this side of this top piece to line up this edge because they didn't come out exactly right. And we're a little bit wide of a gap over here, but that's nothing really. All right, so what I gotta do, I need to match the other side to this side. So I'm reading three sixteenths of an inch from the edge of this to the edge of that. And I've got these in place. I've got my spacer on the bottom and my magic toothpick underneath that side. Eighth inch aluminum strip, eighth inch aluminum strip. And I eyeballed an eighth of an inch on this side here. So now what we're doing is we're doing the same thing. I don't know if I'm videoing worth a damn here. So, all right, we're on the two and 
that first line there is at an eighth. That little line there is at three sixteenths. So that's what I need to trim all these guys at. But if you notice, they're not all exactly the same size. And I do have them lined up over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll cut the top one first. And I'm going to sneak up on it. First, I'll go to the big line here and just double check. Because uh, it's a lot easier to cut than it is to uncut the wood. Actually, I probably want to turn this one over. So I don't have to worry about plugging that hole. Um, Alright, then once we get that, we'll put our holes for the hand, uh, handle. We'll attach these. Yeah, we'll be rock and roll here. <laughs> 